the danger of shortcut and the dream of instant solution. If you see our overall productivity in rice, it's a 4.5, about 4.5 ton per hectare. Now this super toy promised 15 ton per hectare, 15. So three to four times as productive uh, as the overall productivity of rice now, which is, which is just hard to imagine. If you read the story of Norman Borlo in Mexico, he had to try 15 <coughs> years before he launched his new product, which was saving India from uh, famine and got him a Nobel Peace, Pri Nobel Peace Prize. So instant solution. But um, of course, beware, not only SBY. SBY now we know uh, this is a danger. But I Amin, mean, uh, don't you think some, some other people too, might be you also, in, uh, who always dream about instant solution and shortcut? I mean, you just mentioned to us before that renegotiation is one of the tools of this, shortcut, uh, as if it is the key to our welfare. Uh, let's see the basic numbers first, and then let's see what kind of solution is this the best for the country. Uh, 30 million people, people below poverty line. 10 million people are jobless. 60 million people who are working are on the informal sector with two and a half times a normal uh, salary and no protection at all. Uh, One million Indonesian young every year who just finish high school and most of them will become temporarily jobless. Now, how are we going to deal with this? Uh, but I mean, you mentioned about national interest, yes, national interest in our economy. What is it really that we call national interest? You, 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 you that's discussion, not right. That's this is this is related to that. Now, yeah. this is the relation to that. <laughs> now, if we want to have shortcut, right? I mean, this is, of course, it's very easy to say this is the danger of shortcut. As be wise, wrong. But let's just be honest. How about those ideas? that following Morales or following Chavez is the best answer for Indonesia. Also, maybe it's also a, a dream for a shortcut for the welfare of the people.